and I'm going to integrate integration x sine inverse x divided by root 1 minus x square so let's see the answer so writing the given x sine inverse x divided by root 1 minus x square here dx so suppose z equal to sine inverse x so dz equal to sine inverse x integration that is 1 by root 1 minus x square here dx so now this here x we can write sine z so let's put the value so x plus we can write sine z sine inverse x that is equal to z and uh, this is now 1 by dx divided by root 1 minus x square this is here equal to dz or this we can write here z sine z dz so this is the form of uh, here or uh, Eilert rule that follow so first is arithmetic here trigonometric so this is I let must we follow so first is arithmetic next is trigonometric this is uh, suppose u here this is v so let's use here integration by part rule so write u do the integration of v here du by dx integration of v dx dx after that let's uh, do the integration so writing u z integration of v sin z dz integration of uh, z sorry differentiation of z that is equal to 1 then after v sin z dz here dz after that z sin or differentiation that is minus cos z here integration so this is now minus cos z dz after that this is here minus z cos z minus minus plus and cos or sin cos z integration that is sin z plus c okay so now here uh, sin z equal to x sin z equal to x and here z equal to sin inverse x cos z e is there so this we can write 1 minus sin square z this is here cos z and cos z we can write sin z that it means 1 minus x square cos z okay so now putting the value z plus we can write sin inverse x and cos z that is equal to 1 minus x square sin z equal to x plus c so this is the minus include that and writing one more line x minus root 1 minus x square here sin inverse x plus c so this is the answer of this question so one time going to repeat write the given here assume z equal to sin inverse x dz equal to 1 by root 1 minus x square dx x equal to sin z so sin z z dz this is the form of eyelet that follow arithmetic trigonometric use the integration by part rule after doing the integration then you can get these terms so put the value so z plus we can write sin inverse x cos z we can write root 1 minus sin square z and here this is now x sin z equal to x after that this is that comes so this is the answer of this question okay so this is the way we can do the integration so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you